guys, how's it going out there? Uh, this is Super J. Uh, I just wanted to give you my experience on uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild and getting it set up in CMU and uh, the work that was required for me to figure all this crap out and uh, just to be able to run it at, you know, basically a decent frame rate where I wasn't lagging all the time and nothing was, uh, you know, dipping out in frames and freezing and that kind of crap. That was driving me nuts. I spent about maybe a week thinking about it, um, probably only a few days or, you know, six hours total of just working on it, figuring all the information out. And I'm sure a lot of this is on Reddit, but I just wanted to make this video just to uh, help people understand if they're, you know, having trouble finding um, any of this information, um, having trouble, you know, realizing um, you know, what to do, because I always, like, Reddit's great for the information, but I always seem to have the same problem, where it's, you know, it's not exactly, you know, cookie cutter, exactly, you know, directions from Reddit being exactly your case, so this is my case, and I just wanted to share, uh, this experience, you know, with you, so you can figure it out and play it yourself at this great frame rate and not have any freezes or stutters, and, because this is just an amazing thing. Uh, this day and age, we could just play this game. You know, what is it, two weeks now after release, or three weeks or something? It's just insane. Um, I am a Patreon subscriber, so I have the 1.7.4D. Um, as of right this second, it is April 8th at 5.30 in the morning. So maybe the public release is coming out now, but I had this a week in advance. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's get to it. Alright, so first things first, I'm sorry if... Uh, you have an AMD card because I can't help you out there. Um, I uh, only have an NVIDIA card. I have an NVIDIA 1070. Um, so, but here's the first thing you do. You need to go to the NVIDIA control panel and to manage 3D settings. And you want to select CMU from the list here. And you want to make sure that these settings are selected. So, multi-display GPU acceleration is at single. Shader catch is at off. And um, Threaded optimizations on on. This will, um, it's just a more of an optimized uh, thing for CMU. I'm not sure the exact reasons. You can probably look them up on Reddit uh, if you want. Uh, but I know that this is something that uh, was suggested and it worked for me very well. Um, it brought up probably like 5 FPS before I did the GPU fence skip, which I'll explain later. Um, also, the other thing you want to do is go to Task Manager with the CMU open. And then once you've opened that up, uh, you go to the Task Manager, and you click on the uh, Wii U emulator, which is what it's called in the Task Manager, and you right-click on it, and you want to go to Go to Details. And then under here, under CMU.exe, you want to go to uh, Set Affinity. So what you're going to do is you're going to select um, CPU 0, 2, 4, and 8, and you're going to uncheck... Um, one, three, five, and seven, and that will make it run better because it's not a hyper-threaded application, which means it doesn't use multiple cores as much. So then you want to go into your shader cache and get that for the CMU um, for your game. And I'm not going to give that out, but that's easily findable. Just you know, Google shader cache Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm sure you'll find it. And then um, you want to make sure your game is updated. You can get that on a Wii U uh, download helper. I'm not going to tell you how to do that, and there's more information of that elsewhere. But you're going to want to go into this MLC01 folder, the user folder, the title folder, the name of the title game, and the uh, specific update. And you're going to want to put it in that folder. So once you put it in that folder, then CMU recognizes the updated files and updates them there. And then you're going to want to go into um, your settings your profile game profiles uh, INIs and you're gonna want to go to the game um, number INI number this is the exact number from um, what the game is you know EU or USA and under there you're gonna want to put disable GPU fence equals true and that will increase uh, frame rate dramatically and will probably get you up to 30 FPS um, if your build is good um, you know I'm not sure what a lower ended build would be probably get 20 FPS average, I'm guessing. That's just a guess, like I said, wild guess. Um, because uh, I have a pretty high-end build on SSD. I have a 6700K i7 
4 gigahertz. Uh, I got 16 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz RAM. So I'm pretty up there in terms of you know what's available today, uh, technology and computer parts. Um, I'm just a gen behind, I guess, on the 6800K. And I run it. I run it with some dips, uh, but the dips are smooth there. They, I don't, I'm not a constant 30 FPS, but you know I'll dip down to 25 and 21. But it's not like you know it doesn't freeze, and that's because the shader cache is already downloaded. Now, um, compiling the shader cache takes quite some time. It took me, I had the wrong one at first. It was a 19,000 shader file, which apparently had multiple games shaders in it, which was slowing me down like crazy and eating up all my RAM. Um, but my RAM was uh, topped up pretty high. But uh, it, it's about 9,000 um, shader, shader files that I had to compile. And then once they're compiled, um, you know, they load just fine. Um, this here you know, that I'm showing you is a pre-compiled uh, load of the game. This is not compiling it. Compiling it takes much longer. So the first compile will take you some time. Uh, just be prepared, you know, to wait a little bit when you first boot up the game. Go get a drink real quick or something. Because, uh, you know, they haven't optimized everything in. It's, I mean, this is still a pretty alpha slash beta program. Um, and it's really amazing that we're already as far as all the rest of the wild. Like I said earlier, it's kind of a miracle. I've, I would have never imagined this 20 years ago. We could emulate games this quickly. Or emulate games at all, really, 20 years ago. Um, so, you know, it's just it's kind of an amazing feat of what these guys are doing. You should really support them uh, if you can. Um, you know, just give them praise because they don't uh, get, really get paid for this technically. I mean, their Patreon probably has a lot of people. You know, but they don't, this isn't their job, this is what they're doing in their free time, they have jobs and stuff, and, uh, you know, they've made this little magical program for us to play, you know, cutting edge games on our computers, so, um, but yeah, once the shaders load, you're all set, and the, uh, FPS is pretty good, like I said, 25 to 30, um, and if you have any questions, um, you can ask me. But I probably won't respond to anything regarding, you know, where to get the game, uh, how to get the shader files. Um, if you want to get the game, you can use the Wii U uh, download helper. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, there's a lot of tutorials on how to use that elsewhere. I'm not going to give a tutorial of that here. And that's really basically it. Uh, I don't think I left anything out. So, um, yeah, like I said, you know, ask me some questions if you want to ask about my build or, uh, you know how my folders are set up or anything like that um, I can show you all that uh, and um, now you have to understand if you have a lower end computer this probably will help you but you're not going to be seeing the results like I'm seeing um, because uh, it requires a lot of RAM usage and a lot of uh, CPU power to run this I mean the switch isn't, you know, the Wii U and the Switch aren't that high end of, you know, emulation, but the emulation is really not optimized to its, um, you know, to its full extent. Like, you know, let's say the PS2 is or something, which runs like flawlessly almost every game. I mean, you could run that PS2 emulator on a piece of crap machi machine and it will run perfectly. Before it was optimized on a really high end machine, it would probably run like crap because they haven't optimized all the code. So. You just need a high-end machine. Like, like you can see on here, my memory is getting up to like 95% use. That's 16 gigs of RAM, which is a lot, in my opinion, just to use one program. So, you know, just be prepared. You know, don't get your hopes up that it's going to be exactly 30. It's still in a development. You know, if you're not a Patreon, keep waiting for the builds to come out. They're, they're slowly improving things. They added water physics in this uh, 1.74. They added... Um, a lot of things. Uh, they added the grass. You know, they fixed um, all the abilities, like magnesis and that kind of stuff. So you know, just uh, try to um, be patient and just let these people do their work, and uh, you will you will see the fruits of their labor very soon. I believe that they will get this done, and uh, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you like this video, and. Uh, I'll be doing some more stuff, so I'll catch you guys later.